The buffet at the JW Barrett in Hong Kong is absolutely impressive. You can make your own salad and put your own garnishes on it. This is the Caesar salad. Then you could put different things on your salad. You have different tastes here in dressing. Balsamic and Italian, honey mustard, and peppercorn. And then you have different salads, apple salad and pasta salad and chicken salad and potato salad and vegetable salad. <laughs> That's just the beginning. They have a very, very impressive layout. This is their sushi station and they have different sushis that you can ask for and they put like the different accoutrements on the sushi. Then you have different mayos and crab, lobster, and snow crabs. Then they have shrimp tiger and jade whelk and caviar. This is their caviar station on the little crackers. And then they have the carving station with all the sauces that you can ask and all the sides you can ask. This brings me to the red wine selection and they have a Taurus Grand Coronas Cabernet Sauvignon and a Silver Creek Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, this is their drink station. I'm gonna go back to the food in a minute. They have watermelon, they have mango, they have grapefruit, they have orange, they have guava, they have strawberry. So I'm sure you can find something you like here. This is their salmon station. This is their lox, this is their real salmon. Um, okay, the trimmings, the real fish with different little appetizer tuna ceviches and then three types of salmon cured lemon grass salmon cured green tea salmon cured ginger orange salmon not to mention look at all the antipastos just look at all the different types of olives that they have again very very impressive the decor is just as beautiful and as appetizing here they have the egg station the eggs benedict and you could put caviar in your eggs you could put ham you could put anything you desire look at all the tabasco types again and the hard boiled eggs then they have the barbecue bun the pork dumplings the chilies and the tabasco the buns and the dumplings all in these containers Now they have the Peking duck with all the accoutrements you could get, cucumber and onions and seafood um, sauce and chicken oil rice, so you could just put that. This is their foie gras table. Their foie gras table has, there's terrine with olive, the goose meat, goose, another type of goose meat, midi brioche, and this is how he lays out the little pieces. And you could do like fig compote or apple compote. And I'm not even done with the actual foods. They have baked scallops in here. Looks delicious. Vegetarian soup. Indian curry station with all the stuff you can put. Here they have all the risotto pieces. You can put asparagus and some crab meat, and they make you they make the risotto like right up here on the spot for you. And then they have baked. They will have, I guess, baked cheese, Boston lobster. They're still setting up and lamb chops. And if that's not enough, you can come and feast your eyes on the buffet table. These are the danishes, the chocolates, the mousses, the souffles. Turn around and you will see beautiful cakes, New York cheesecake, banana cake, olive sponge, chocolate brownie some fruits, consomme jelly, chocolate um, cake, baked flan, apple flan, and apricot cream. 
So this, and, and not to mention all the little sweets and cakes, I mean the little sweets and um, marshmallows. And of course, last but not least, they give out Moe Champagne. So this is where it all comes from. So this is their champagne. So with a brunch like this, in a setting like this, you see the harbor, you see the seats are comfortable. I don't think you ever want to go away. You just want to stay here and continue the champagne brunch throughout the week. Just look at this comfortable seating. This is the actual hotel lobby. Very luxurious, wonderful service. Who can ask for anything more, literally? I'm going to go and have some brunch myself now. Ta-ta for now, autistic love trotting in Hong Kong.